Hello, Goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Declare. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. I get those goosebumps every time. Goalie goals are a rare phenomenon that occur only when your team is bending over your opponents and serving them a slice of justice in the ass. A goalie goal is the ultimate whipped cream and cherry on top, and a great way to send your opponents home thinking, damn, it sucks my dad doesn't love me anymore. Every goalie dreams of scoring a goal, and it's not easy to do. So in Goalie Smarts episode 15, I'm going to teach you how to score a goalie goal. Step one, develop a cannon. Shooting a puck as a goaltender is difficult to do. Goalie gloves are not meant to shoot pucks. They are meant to ruin careers and cause divorce. Since you can't actually get grip, you usually have to put your catching glove behind your stick and use that as leverage to get power. This is like trying to get laid with a penis that's shaped like a tire iron. You can technically do it, but it'd be a lot easier if you were just normal. So to make up for that, you'll have to develop some skill behind your metaphorical tire iron penis. Take some time and develop a nasty wrist shot, even though you'll never use it. Ugly people still keep condoms in their car, right? Exactly. So take some time, shoot some pucks, and keep that lethal wrist shot in your back pocket like that 10-year-old Trojan bearskin condom. I heard after 10 years of UV radiation, they start to feel like an actual bear. Step two, create your own circumstances. In order to score a goal as a goalie, the conditions must be perfect. Much like trying to raise sea monkeys, you have to make sure that the water is at the right temperature and you put that powder shit in there before you put the eggs in. So unless you were that kid with dead sea monkeys roasting in the sun, here are a few ways to set the scene for a goalie goal. The first method is the only way that goalie goals have been scored in the NHL. During the last minute of the last period, the other team will pull their goalie in hopes of the extra man paying off. The other goalie will then fire the puck into the empty net. But there are better ways to go about this. So I've come up with several alternative methods. The second method is to just go for it with the goalie in the net. Most people think that goalie goals can only be scored while the net is empty. This is because no goalies ever try shooting it while someone is there. So if you really want to get on the scoreboard, you should just go for it anyway. You'd be surprised with how incompetent people can be. Before a game starts, study your opposing goaltender. Get a good look at this motherfucker. Try to look into his eyes and see if he's the type of person to leave pasta boiling while he goes to the grocery store. Most people who do those types of things give it away almost immediately. When you have a moment by yourself with the puck, catapult it in your opponent's direction and see if you can slip one by. Just make sure you don't miss the net because that could turn your Hail Mary attempt at the American dream into an icing call and a new position as a water boy slash door opener. The third method is to trick your opponent into leaving his net unattended. All you have to do is have a loudspeaker near your opponent's bench, learn your opposing goalie's name, and learn to imitate your opponent's coach's voice. Record your impression of their coach calling the goalie to the bench and have your friend play the audio through a speaker. Once the net is unattended, use this opportunity to bust out that old Trojan bearskin and get what you came here for. Step three, repeat. If any of the following techniques have worked for you, it is in your best interest to use them as often as possible. If you can score on command, you will eventually become the greatest goaltender of all time. Think about it. If you can find a way to score goals at will, it doesn't matter how many goals you let in because every goal you let in will be matched by one you score. Eventually, you can just sit around on your phone and not even pretend to care. This could also be a great way to make it to the NHL, but just make sure you learn to actually play before you get there. Because if the NHL finds out you're cheating, they won't be happy. And Gary Bettman will probably hire an assassin, murder you, skin your dead body, and use it as leather interior in his Rolls Royce. As always, guys, thank you for listening. If you'd like to see the latest sketch on the Buff Comedy, click right here. If you'd like to buy some Guillaume Declare apparel and look sexy as motherfucking hell, click right here. I'm Guillaume Declare. I'm out.